Hi, I'm Vladimir, and I'm going to show you how to use Motor Analysis PM for design and analysis of permanent magnet machines. So let's get started. Let's define stator dimensions first. So the stator is ready. And rotor is imported from the DXF file. This can be seen with this uh, rotor with interior magnets. I am assigning subdomain types and define magnetization properties. And general for air. So the geometry is ready. The next step is to define materials. You can use materials from the materials library or add your own materials. So let's define a winding for our motor. The winding layout input method can be manual or automatic. The winding can be single layer winding, a double layer winding, distributed or concentrated. So the winding is done. And the next step is to define drive settings. DC voltage is 500 volts. I am using uh, the current hysteresis PWM drive type. OK, now we need to generate mesh and save our simulation file. So the simulation file is ready, so we can start the analysis of our motor. Uh, the first analysis method is the magnetostatic analysis. Here we should define supply current, advance angle and speed. The current reform can be either sinusoidal or trapezoidal. Let's use 100 points. So now we can start the analysis. It takes some time. So now the analysis is ready. So we can see the results. Let's open plot wizard to see waveforms and field plots. This is a plot of uh, current, BKMF, voltage and torque waveforms. Let's plot flux in the air gap and its spectrum. Now let's plot the uh, flux density distribution. Now let's see how it changes with time using animation. The next analysis method is the DQ analysis. First I would like to see what is the maximum torque I can achieve with a given current. Let's say 216 amperes. As can be seen, the maximum torque is about 400 newton meters, corresponding to an advanced angle of 50 electrical degrees. Now I want to see motor characteristics over the entire speed range, up to 6000 RPM with the maximum torque operation. The maximum torque advanced angle is uh, 50. 
field we can control is the maximum torque. After some time, the result is ready. And finally, let's compute the efficiency map for the given parameters. It also takes some time. So the efficiency map is ready to give with some other plots. And the next analysis method is the dynamic DQ analysis. It allows you to examine the influence of PWM switching on the motor operation. It's we should define time step, supply current, advance angle, and speed. The simulation will be stopped when the steady state is reached. So now we can start the analysis. And in a few moments the results are ready. Here's the window with the time averaged quantities. Now let's look at waveforms. And here is a plot of current, voltage and dock waveforms. And last but not least, the dynamic finite element analysis. This is the most powerful and most accurate of all the analysis methods. It simulates the machine driven from a three phase voltage inverter with time stepping finite element method. You can also use your own electrical circuit. All types of plots are available for this analysis method. And animations as well. So, Motor Analysis PM is easy to use, fast and accurate. And downloaded for free from www.motoranalysis.com. Visit our website to learn about training courses and technical support. Thanks.